This is by far the weirdest and most embarrassing on my list. I also think that this is just unique to me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna share with you how I knew I was pregnant before a positive test. And some of these are honestly very early signs and symptoms that I have that are very weird and even quite embarrassing. <laughs> If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nicole. I make videos sharing my faith, family, and lifestyle. If you like my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always notified when I put out a new video. If you don't already know me, I have a one and a half year old son named Jace and I am currently pregnant now with my second child. And I just found out a few weeks ago, obviously that video already went up where I took a live pregnancy test. And if you notice in that video, I'm not super shocked. Like I was surprised that it happened so fast and I was excited about it, but I wasn't completely caught off guard. You know what I mean? So besides the fact that I was already, I think three or four days late on my period, there were other uh, signs and symptoms that were taking place in those like four weeks. I think I was around four weeks pregnant when I took the test that were giving me some inklings that I might be pregnant. And some of the things were very weird and kind of embarrassing. Some of them are really common and a lot of people experience them, but I thought it'd be fun to share what some of my early signs was and wanted to ask you guys if you had any interesting early signs, please leave a comment below and let me know what they were. I would love to read them and reply and have conversations with you guys. So make sure to hit me up in the comment section below. So here we go. Here are seven of my earliest pregnancy symptoms. So the earliest, earliest sign that I had was fatigue or like extreme sleepiness and this can even happen for some women as early as one week after conception which i think is what happened to me because early on there was a week where i was so exhausted after that i was actually not tired for a while now i am officially tired again but very early on there was like three days in a row where i was just napping every single day during jace's nap and i was like what the heck is this like this is the time i'm supposed to be working and cleaning and catching up on life and instead i'm taking a nap with my toddler. So this is obviously very normal and common and it's just because your body is working overtime to maintain the pregnancy and even to develop milk producing glands in the breasts. So I didn't realize that that happens so early on, like wow, it happens so quick. Um, probably because I don't notice much of a change in size up there. Um, <laughs> I'm like, milk, what milk? There's no milk in me. <laughs> uh... All right, moving on to number two. This is by far the weirdest and most embarrassing on my list. I also think that this is just unique to me. I haven't talked to anyone else who experiences this in pregnancy. If you do, please let me know in the comments. I did mention this in my video where I found out I was pregnant because I mentioned that I had diarrhea. Okay, back up with my first pregnancy that was a thing I was dealing with through I think most of my pregnancy and I mentioned it to the doctor and they were just like that's not real I don't think that has anything to do with the pregnancy <laughs> like they're basically telling me that's not a symptom of pregnancy typically it's the opposite and it's actually constipation is a symptom of pregnancy so I have the opposite problem I don't know why um, however I will say that I think that that's what kept me skinny in my first pregnancy <laughs> Me and my friend always joke around about this because I barely gained any weight in my first pregnancy. I actually think I like lost weight in the rest of my body other than my belly. Everything else was like thinner than ever. My jawline was like so cut. And she's like, probably because you're literally eliminating everything in your body every single morning. So that's what happened. It was like days after days of just every morning waking up and going to the bathroom this was before i took the pregnancy test and i remember that happening it's a strange one you guys a little embarrassing to admit but it's life it happens to all of us at one point or another and for whatever strange reason it is just normal for that to happen to me during pregnancy <laughs> number three on my list is hot flashes slash night sweats. For me, that kind of was rolled into one. Um, typically, I'm a very cold, cold person. So for me in the middle of winter in Chicago to like want to take my jacket off is strange. And that's when I knew like, huh, something's not right here. Um, and then also at night, which this also happened a lot during my first pregnancy, I was getting night sweats. 
um, and this was like closer to when I had taken the pregnancy test, so probably like the week leading up to it. Almost every single night, I was just so uncomfortable. So that was kind of a little hint for me of what was to come. <laughs> Number four for me is another kind of strange, more so embarrassing, um symptom and that is acne like heavy cystic acne on my jawline so first of all i do deal with acne quite often i use curology products and so usually that keeps it at bay so in that time period i was getting cystic acne all on my jawline and usually it's like like i said it's so under control as long as i'm using curology and i was still using them and they were just popping through and it was painful and was leaving marks and so i'll pop in a picture kind of right here of what i was dealing with but i remember that happening again everything is so similar to my first pregnancy with the signs but with jace um i also was getting that like very early on in the pregnancy and i thought okay maybe it's because my period's coming what i did notice in my last pregnancy was i dealt with that more so early on first trimester and then it actually got better and better and my skin was like the best it ever was for the remainder of my pregnancy and so i'm hoping that that'll happen again because it has gotten a little bit better yeah that's been ugh, kind of frustrating to deal with um just because you know like your body is changing everything's changing you're hormonal you have so many feelings and then on top of all of that you have to try to like cover your acne it's just not fun <laughs> So that's something I experienced. If you guys dealt with that, let me know because I haven't talked to too many people who have. Quick interruption, before you forget, make sure to head on over to that thumbs up button if you're enjoying this video or if you've learned anything new, please go ahead and click it for me. You guys have no idea how much it helps this video and helps my channel. Thank you so much. And now we will move on to number five on my list. So number five is of course, highly irritable, highly, highly irritable. <laughs> I, I'm a hormonal person when I'm pregnant. Okay, so before I even found out I was pregnant, I was so irritable. I was annoyed with Richie like every single day. There was just everything he was doing was just getting on my last nerve. And I don't even remember, like I don't have any specific examples. I just remember that we were bickering quite a bit and it was mostly because I was the one starting things with him. I remember stopping and thinking to myself like, what is wrong with me? I might be pregnant, I am being so rude, and Richie's annoying the heck out of me. <laughs> the thing is, that one hasn't really gone away. We're still dealing with it, and we'll probably deal with that one through the rest of this pregnancy. But yes, obviously, when you are pregnant, you, your body immediately starts going through so many changes, hormonal imbalances, and so much happening in your body, so your mood is just all over the place. And I know I was also dealing with a lot of mood swings and like breakdowns and like just crying. That kind of goes into a whole other topic because I've been dealing with a lot of depression through my first trimester and it was a combination of like depression and seasonal depression and an entire year of quarantine and just a lot of things piling up. I'm gonna talk about that probably more in my first trimester Q&A video. Um, I'll link it up here once it's actually live. <sighs> Any of my pregnant sisters out there, just stay strong, <laughs> we're gonna get through this. And any of my pregnant sisters, partners out there, stay strong, you're gonna get through this too. <laughs> Number six is bloating. And I was already feeling bloated that week. And I mentioned this in a video, I was like, I don't know if this is my belly starting to show or if it's just bloating. Turns out, you know, bloating obviously is kind of a PMS symptom, like well, before you're about to get on your cycle, you experience bloating. However, and I wanna read this so I don't butcher it, um, it can also be a sign of increased pregnancy-induced progesterone that slows down your digestive tract, trapping gas inside your intestines which explains the gas. That's, okay, let's stay on topic. Um, I was already feeling bloated before I took that pregnancy test and I didn't realize it. But then once I took the test and then literally that, when I told Richie I'm pregnant and like lifted up my shirt and we looked at my belly, it, I was like already showing and it was ridiculous because looking back, I was like four weeks pregnant at that point, but I kid you not, I was already showing like from the top. Um, I guess that's just part of it is the bloating. But yes, I did notice that very early on. Number seven and last but not least is excessive peeing. <laughs> um, that was already beginning so early before I took the test, I was wait I started to wake up throughout the night and pee. And that is like 
standard when you're pregnant, you wake up in the night and pee. And there is a whole explanation to that that I wanted to read because they say that as soon as two weeks after conception, around the time you'd normally be getting your period, your kidneys start gearing up to filter out the extra waste in your blood from the baby on board. Your growing uterus also starts pushing on your bladder and your progesterone levels increase, resulting in more frequent peeing during pregnancy. So. That's all very normal. I know this is a really common one and that was something that was happening already before I got that positive on my test. So there you have it. Those are my earliest and weirdest and even a little embarrassing um, pregnancy symptoms that I noticed before I took my test. Again, leave a comment below and let me know any signs or symptoms that you guys had that were similar to mine, different from mine, whatever. I wanna know all of it. Love you guys very much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.